travel north from San Francisco on Scenic 101 and you'll wind up in Sonoma, the end of the road. Actually, the end of the road course season, one in which Team Penske's willpower has been the toast of 2010. But it's Dario Franchitti from rival target Chip Ganassi Racing who most recently tasted victory here and he hopes to spoil Powell's title celebration. Sonoma is a popular destination where the culmination of grape growing results in the tasting of fine vintage. And it's home to Infineon Raceway, where 75 laps along the 12 turns of this 2.3 mile course will culminate the road and street portion of the 2010 IZOD IndyCar Series campaign. Welcome to IndyCar Central on Versus, presented by Firestone. I am Lindy Thaxton, and we are so glad you could join us here today for race 13 of 17 of the IZOD IndyCar Series. It's kind of windy, can you tell? Just a little bit. And this is the final road and street course. We've had nine in a row. From here on out, it's four straight ovals, and Versus will be there to capture every single lap from here through the championship. Well, you can bet Will Power has had this day on his calendar for quite some time, not only because it's the final road and street course, which obviously he excels at that, but also because it's been one year since his horrific crash here. Coming up in just a little bit, we've got a really good piece on Will's recovery and his return to Sonoma. He's pretty candid. You don't really hear him talk like this too much, so you're going to want to stick around. He's already clinched the road and street championship for this year. He did that back in mid-Ohio. He has a healthy lead in the overall point standings, but Dario Franchitti took the win at mid-Ohio. He only gained nine points on Will, but he may have sent a more important message. They are on pit lane for the first time today. Will Power just barely got ahead of Dario Franchitti, but as they got to the coast, Franchitti east in front. Tagliani, Franchitti, Power, Castro Nevis, and Bristol, your top five. We've got Alex Tagliani, he is now on pit lane. Franchitti beat out Will Power, and you're going to be able to beat out Castro Nevis. The final lap, Will Power runs a car link behind Franchitti. Dario Franchitti will win here at the Mid Ohio Sports Car Court. Couldn't be happier to be part of Team Target that first pit stop today. God, that, that won us the race. Dario Franchitti joins us now. It's windy up here, and it's not good for people with hair like us. Yeah, this long hair is <laughs> playing well, havoc um, with it. <laughs> we heard you just say the pit stop really did it for you in mid-Ohio. You give a lot of credit to your crew. Yeah, absolutely. The boys got it done in very difficult conditions. It was a 35-foot box, which is five foot shorter than we normally run with. So I actually thought I wasn't going to be able to get the car into the box on the marks under those circumstances with Scott in his box or Scott's guys set up and Will in his box to leave. But I managed to get it in and get it out quickly, and the guys did their job, and uh, that combination just really... Uh, Got it, got it done, and that, that won us the race. What do you bring from your win at Sonoma last year into this year? Well, you've got to be patient at this track. Very, very difficult to pass, but there are some ways to do it. Um, you might not be able to do it on the road. We're going to try and do it on the track, definitely, but if not, we'll try and do it with strategy. Um, the, the target boys are, are, are phenomenal. As we know, they give me good cars. Um, we've got 400 target guests over at Turn 7 today, so we've got to get it done. You know, the, the wind, I've just noticed with the, with the hair blowing, the wind has changed 180 degrees from Friday and, and yesterday, so that's going to change uh, the way things work today with the car, to change the balance of the car in certain corners, so we'll, we'll see what happens. And can you tell us about this Drivers Association that you're a part of? Yeah, it was really Tony Canan was the guy who was really pushing for this, um, and I, I think it's a great idea. Um, we just need to get all the drivers, get everybody, give them a voice, um, because certain of us will go and talk to Brian Barnhart about different things, and Brian's very receptive to our, our thoughts. And we just wanted to give the whole field a chance to, to put their, their, their thoughts forward in a group. And um, it, it's working well so far. Dario, thank you for your time. We'll let you go. Thanks, Lindy. Thank you. And as we have mentioned, Will Power has already clinched the Mario Andretti trophy as the top IZOD IndyCar road and street course racer. Power leads Franchitti by 88 points. And most points available to any one driver today would be 52. Power's lead over Franchitti is down to 42 points in the overall championship. But expect Dario and his Ganassi teammate Scott Dixon to chip away at that lead over the final four races on ovals. 
And these nine road and street course races have been the most IndyCar has raced in one season. It's been a really exciting part of the season to watch, if you ask me. Yes, Will Power did dominate, but five different drivers went to victory lane and eight drivers celebrated podium finishes. We'll talk to do with two of those drivers when IndyCar Central on Versus, presented by Firestone, continues. The IndyCar Central pre-race. Voted by you, the fans. Mario Andretti and Will Power. You can see Mario driving there. They arrive downtown in traditional San Francisco form on a trolley. And then Mario presented the trophy to Will Power. And that trophy that you see right there, guess what? I've got it right here. And Will Power is going to be presented this after the race today. He has said it is such an honor to have a trophy with Mario Andretti's name on it. We got another good looking thing right here. This is the trophy that the winner of the race will get. And then there's also this goblet here. Obviously, we're in wine country, so this is fitting, and it's custom for the winner of the race to take a sip of wine in Victory Lane. Well, Ryan Hunter Ray, he has had a very successful 2010 season, even if it's been pretty uncertain at times. What we do know, it's been a really emotional period for him, both personally and professionally. He shined with a win at Long Beach. He's had five top five finishes, and Ryan let verses go behind the scenes with him at home in Florida. What's up, guys? Welcome to Fort Lauderdale. Glad you can join us. It's a hot one today. We're trying to get out on the boat. Maybe get a little scuba diving in. Maybe some fishing. Why don't you come join us? Right now we're headed up to Lighthouse Point from Fort Lauderdale. So we head up there to go diving a lot, some of the best water quality in, in South Florida. I was lucky enough to grow up in the Fort Lauderdale area. I absolutely love it down here. I mean, we lived in California for a while. That's where Becky's from, and it doesn't get much better than this. This is uh, what I want to come home to, for sure. I'm all about the water, whatever it takes to be in the water. And uh, from Fort Lauderdale South is the only remaining coral reef system left in North America. We're lucky to have that here, and uh, trust me, if you can throw a tank on your back and get down and see it, it's, it's amazing down there. We met in Long Beach at the Long Beach Grand Prix, and, Oh, four. His mom set us up. I it's was all because I had a race suit on. I was working as a pit reporter, and I actually was just out there on my first weekend, and I saw him, and next thing you know, I'm talking to this lady, and she's the nicest lady I've ever met, and it ends up being his mom, so she kind of hooked us up. We met there, got engaged there, and he won there, so it's a pretty yep. fitting place for us. We like Long Beach. We like Long Beach a lot. All right, well, it's time to get in the water. A lot of fun. The sun's still out though. Let's head over to the beach. Show you guys a little more of Fort Lauderdale. I spent most of my childhood Sundays on, on, the, uh, on the beach with my mom and then I started scuba diving with my dad. And, uh, my mom and I were, were super close and you know as she passed away from colon cancer. So we're getting out the word about racing for cancer and, and its initiative to push that awareness and um, to get yourself checked and that's why it's uh, it, it's it's a special place for me coming to the beach all the time and, and, and the same thing for Becky well thanks for joining us today here in Fort Lauderdale we had a good time getting ready to get on the plane for Sonoma looking forward to heading back out to California see you guys again soon And thanks to Ryan and Becky for giving us access like that. And as you can see, Ryan has had three podium finishes this season, including his win at Long Beach. And he's had six top ten finishes in a row. Ryan standing by with Jack Aroo. Yeah, Linda, you're right. He's been able to parlay what in the beginning was going to be a part-time ride into a full-time assault on the IZOD IndyCar Series. But, Ryan, I want to go back to what happened this morning late in the final practice session. Down there, take us through what, what occurred with you. Well, we had, we had some issues there under braking. We've been struggling with something all, all weekend, but um, there was something there with the, with the bias, and 
we, we found it, we got it fixed, and uh, we're, we're on our way. I mean, we were fourth in the session, so it, it's all good. Um, I think the car is going to be good today. This team always gives me a great race car. So